welcome uh, Carl Johnson, a local lad, to uh, Poppy's TV. Is it the first time you've been in here? Yeah, first time. It is, yeah. yeah. You weren't too happy about coming in, I don't think. No. But, uh, no. You've all got to face it, you know, exactly, it's a piece yeah. of cake, really. But uh, it's been a, a hectic week for you, I would say, and all the players, considering yeah. this time next week was the first um, time we had a new manager, manager come in there. You must have seen uh, already the differences and the different styles yeah, that um, Ian and Paul have brought to the previous management. Yeah, you can, you can tell how good managers there are to be I was just saying it out there the the training straight away the first training session we did we, you just know like it's sort of it's professional like it's intense it's good training and then obviously they've got their own ideas coming in they want us when we're playing away if we can get the ball down and just change our sort of tactics we've got that as well so it's good to switch it up was it a shock when the previous management left on the Friday night and um, you had Alan and Luke as a manager yeah. of the duo? Yeah, it, it was a shock, obviously. I don't think anyone knew. Well, we didn't know, so it was a shock. But, but um, when Luke came in and Alan, we did well, to be fair. Second half that game, we did really yeah. well. So, yeah, for them to come in and obviously the lads we've got, it didn't really change much. We, have, we knew what we were still doing on the pitch sort of thing. Then a tough game at like Darlington, we must have been heavy on the legs there, uh, that wind and um, how cold it was, must have really affected you playing-wise. Yeah, it was tough conditions on Saturday, but that was just sort of a dig deep, deep sort of game, it wasn't the greatest game. A bit like that tonight, yeah, wasn't it, yeah, really? I yeah, mean, the, same, to be fair. the goal down in four minutes, yeah, you know, yeah, it was a bit, bit shaky, I think. Yeah, um, it started off slow, but yeah, the Darlington one, we just dug deep and got the chance to Kari, scored a great goal, to be fair to him, and then... Tonight. Two more tonight, isn't he? Yeah. He's, he's on fire. Yeah, he is Who needs Powley? I, know, yeah, <laughs> no, I think every team needs Powley. To be fair, but, um, no, Dakar is a good player. We've all known it since everyone's come in. He is a good player. He's had to wait for his chance, but he's showing now how good a player he is. I suppose also I'll be speaking to Paul and obviously Ian on the coach on Saturday and um, there are going to be some players coming in and uh, it's going to make the squad a little larger which should be yeah. good because um, a lot of games in February which are going to take it out of, isn't it, of the players isn't yeah, it? You exactly, know, stamina yeah. wise um, injury wise I suppose and also suspension wise it's going to yeah. really affect everybody but uh, yeah it's tough on your legs obviously playing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday so obviously the bigger the squad and the more options we have it's only going to benefit us I think what was it like out there tonight? Uh, it's tough, obviously. Like I say, Saturday, Tuesday is always tough. But I thought we were solid, to, so like I didn't really feel too tired or anything like that because we just sort of kept our shape and, like I say, I felt solid. So yeah, yeah. And also, the fans were in full voice, weren't they? As yeah, well? yeah. The fans have been really good, to be fair, this season. I think even when, even when we've lost games, they still got behind us and backed us. But I think they can see what we're trying to do. We're all putting hundred percent in every week, so. I think they sort of respect that. Is it strange playing for your local club? I mean, did you support Kettering as a lad? Or? Yeah, I used to come and watch Kettering at Rockingham Road, yeah? Nun Park. My uncle's a big Kettering fan, so he used to take me all the time. Not Jim? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah so. Vlad, you kept it quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I used to always come and watch Kettering, and obviously it's, like, it's nice to be home. I've not lived at home since I was 16, so I'm just enjoying being home, obviously playing for Kettering, and yeah, it's really good. It's going well at the minute. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for coming in, um, Connor. I know it's uh, probably a bit of a trial for you out in front of the, the lights, the yeah, camera, yeah, the action, yeah. but it's not that bad, is it, really? No, it's not uh, that bad. Great to come in. Well done, and uh, see you Saturday. Yeah, brilliant. Cheers, thank mate. you. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome, Paul Bastock, back to um, Kettering Town. There's a Bazza, as you're known. Wiggle It, I think, was a chant that used to come out. At, Wiggle uh, It, oh, yeah. yeah it's good at, to be uh, back. It was at uh, Rockingham Road. World record holder of goalkeeping appearances. Almost thought you may have to come on there. Uh, Last week. week. Oh, yeah. thank God I wasn't registered. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel a twinge when he went down? Uh, oh, God, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're awful. But I've never gone off in all my games. Never once went off injured. 1,280 is fantastic, yep. isn't it? Really? Yeah, never went off once, so he's a wimp. <laughs> <laughs> We've got crutches on there, hasn't he, as yeah, well? Yeah, but, uh, but there we are. No, since, uh, since you've been back, it's the third game in charge now for you and Ian, and then two wins in a row. It was a classic game at Darlington on, on Saturday, affected by the win, though, wasn't it? Oh, massively. There wasn't a lot of good football played out at Darlington, but uh, results matter, don't they? And <clears throat> that's all that matters. That we, uh, but neither team played good stuff, but we came out on top. And then obviously this evening against Southport who are on a 14 game unbeaten run they had a loss since October leading goal scorer out there Archer and a goal down in four minutes you must have thought wow I thought it was going to be a long night we started very slow <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me we started very slow for 10-15 minutes but we grew into the game 
and uh, apart from that chance and long throws and free kicks, that didn't cause any problems. A couple of penalty shouts as well, half chances maybe? Yeah, definitely, I thought. Definitely one other one was perhaps, Brownie was looking to go down a little bit too easy for me, um, which made, because there was contact, but I think because he's looking for it, the referee's bought in but for that. But yeah, a couple of penalties. But the boys, to a man, they're just they're full of endeavour. Uh, they're a gang mentality, which is brilliant. They work the socks off. They're... Uh, you can see like the binding to what the gaffer's saying and stuff like that, and it's just a pleasure to be around around the boys as well because there it's a good good vibe around that dressing room. Only been here a week and already <coughs> we, we can see a difference in the style of play and, and difference in the attitude of the players. The game management's better at the end as well. Like right at the end, there Stora was right in that corner. Yeah. Old Ed, um, old Ed. I yeah. know he's only twenty seven, but he's an old Ed. But uh, he did exceptionally well, didn't he? And no subs made either. I thought you might bring on a, a couple <coughs> to wind down the clock. <laughs> It could have upset the the balance and shape of what we had. Everyone, Storer and Sharpie and that, everyone was like doing their jobs really well and just making one change can multiply a lot of problems. So we just thought, you know what, let's get over the line with what we've got. I mean, you've played for Kettering, obviously. You've played against Kettering for various teams. You've been an assistant manager against Kettering. You've been an assistant manager with Kettering. There's a lot of history there, isn't there? What do you think of those fans out there, though? Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Don't half make some noise. Uh, just keep getting behind the boys. That's all we ask. Get behind Cully, ourselves, and the boys, and drive on and see where this uh, this uh, journey takes us. I always ask the question. Obviously, we have a smallish squad at the moment. I know you've brought in Charlie um, from Peterborough. You must have a few more on on, on your radar. Yeah, there's permanent iron and in fires. It's just trying to get people over the line, isn't it? Um, hopefully, this week we'll have another one in, um, just to help the boys along. They need help because, as you say, very small squad. But uh, to a man there. They're giving up a hell of a fight for us. They do seem that. It does seem a different um, type of Kettering Town side, although it's the same players. Uh, what What do you think the difference is? Is it because of a new manager and Giro Joe have come in? And I don't know. I know on Thursday, uh, Ian implemented a training session and they said like they'd not done anything like that previously and they all bought, bought into it. Um, I love Cully. Cully's unbelievable and tactically and the way he wants to play the way you get these boys playing there, there, there will be massive changes in styles and stuff like that he's he's just a great coach and young Simo's coming in he's full of endeavour as well and learning his trade was he with you at uh, King's Lynn Simo? He, he was like he, yeah he worked with us when we was full time but like he was looking after the reserves and the ladies and the juniors and, and everyone but uh, he's learning a lot off the gaffer as we all are and uh, the boys buy in which I'm sure they will do, he will develop these lads into much better talented players and what hopefully then can hopefully go on and progress with the club and progress into Football League. Just two, two more things before I allow you to go, of course. Um, the pitch, people always moan about our pitch. I don't think it's that bad today. <laughs> do you know it's probably better when it's wet? Mm -hmm. Because it, when it's, it's drying out like that, you get une uneven bounces. Look, that pitch helps us. At the moment, that levels a game up, gives us a level playing field until <coughs> we can get our game shapes and plans, what we want to do and implement. But obviously, we can't do it on a pitch like that. So we work with it, and we just make sure we're organised and we got the lads locking in, locking on, being focused, resilient, and uh, as you see, store at the end, just game Brilliant, management. Yeah. Game management. Leamington on Saturday then a different challenge um, for you we've played them three times so far this season I've uh, heard that you've played them a lot already yeah, yeah. So um, they, were really they, they were really watching they were watching I think they probably thought uh, is Ian Culverhouse doing the <laughs> keeping on the deck football so they probably <laughs> come to watch to make sure but no yeah every game's a tough game um, and we're, we'll do our uh, homework on, on them from now because we work one game at a time so we'll be doing all of course, Jake Edwards is back isn't he he's their sort of star man yeah. isn't he so uh, we'll be doing all the research online and watch it, trying to get as much uh, information and stuff to pass to the boys and then obviously Thursday night we're in we'll work on shape and patterns and get the boys legs because they've done a lot of miles over the last what since a week three games and there's a lot more games to be played in February so uh, we've got to manage them look after them 
Marvellous. Get them. As long as they keep producing three points, we'll uh, we'll all. Well, it was a great performance, wasn't it? So we can't take it away from them. It's fantastic. Deserved and, uh, it. Thoroughly deserved, deserved it. it. Yeah. And let's hope we can continue on Saturday. Great to have you back with okay. us. Uh, Thank great you. to have you, Ian, as well. It's. Uh, breath of fresh air in, in, into the into the team and uh, thank you for joining us and I'll see you in the bar later lovely cheers Top thanks man. Paul